Yeah, hi Venus. Uh, this is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. I hope you are doing great. So now I'll be discussing about the plan for the upcoming few days. So in this upcoming few days, we are going to cover the following subjects. One is oral medicine in combination with oral path plus oral microbiology. Second one is dental and art. Third one is dental histo. And fourth one is forensic odontology. So either coming to the NEAT or INICT blueprints. So oral medicine is going to carry seven marks. And oral path and oral microbiology are going to carry 14 marks. DA is going to carry 7, DH is going to carry 7 and Forensic Odontology is going to carry 2 or 3 sometimes. It's going to vary from 2 or 3 MCQs. So this is a rough rough outline. Okay, this, this, uh, this blueprint is according to NEAT. Slightly 1 or 2 plus is going to vary for your INICT. INICT, it varies. Okay, it varies but NEAT they are going to fo follow the particular blueprint. So in this upcoming few days, this is the number of questions we are going to work on right so this is a number of questions we are going to work on right so i tried my best to simplify these contents and to organize a perfect schedule for the upcoming 11 to 12 days to cover these subjects keeping in mind the number of days that are left over for your examination are going to be 99 okay assuming that the exam is going to be on january 8th 2023 for now if there is any further updates or notification from nbe i'm immediately going to let you know the change of the dates or anything but as of now i want every one of you to stick on to the plan that your examination is going to be on january 8th 2023 and november 13th 2022 is going to be your inict next Right. So here, I want every one of you to try to segregate your days into different parts. Okay. Right. So let it be an intern or let it be a repeater. Okay. So I was talking to most of you, the present interns throughout the country. I was talking to most of you. So it's better. It's a peak time till the official date was official date is going to be out. I want you to take break from the college if there is any possibility okay so yesterday uh, maharashtra uh, finally result was out so your final year students are going to join the internship probably within a couple of days so if it is possible i i my suggestion for most of you i, I don't know like it may or may not be possible in many of the colleges okay they may not permit you but if it is possible i want you to take off from the college for a week or two weeks at least from now I think probably within a week or 10 days. I'm assuming that NBE will come out with a new update. If they accept our request, okay, to postpone the exam similar to the MBBS people, okay, if they accept it, probably the notification is going to come in the upcoming two weeks. If not, I think you need to stick on to the plan January 8th. Right. So I want, uh, so according to my schedule, I want every one of you to spend at least 10 to 12 hours. Per day. It's a peak time. We are left over with 99 days, less than 99 days. So it, it is mandatory that you need to uh, work out for at least 10 to 12 hours. It's mandatory. It's a peak time. Uh, and if you are planning to end up with something great and extraordinary on the day of results, so it's a time that you need to improve the number of hours first of all. So my schedule for this upcoming 10 to 12 days, I have split it into main task okay you can consider as major task minor task one minor task two and the plan to solve the repeats from all the sides okay so as there are few students who have started the preparation long back probably maybe 10 months back six months back or five months back okay so if you are done with any of the subjects which are already ongoing, okay, so you can consider these minor tasks 
as a revision tasks. To get a proper segregated schedule or a customized schedule basing upon your preparation. Okay, for example, you are already done with dental and or dental histology or if you are already done with oral path, oral medicine, the present running subjects. Okay, if you want, I am going to give a customized schedule. That's a different story. Okay, or else you can consider these minor, minor tasks. You can convert them into a revision task and you try to list out subjects where you are weak at, where you are incomplete, where you are not confident. You can drop those subjects and you can cover those subjects. Right. So the major task should be half of your half of your day. For example, if it is a 12 hour schedule, it should go around like five and half to six hours should be the main major task. And followed by these three has to be split into six hours. That is two hours for this, two hours for second minor and two hours for repeats. So basing upon this, you have to plan your schedule. Okay, your schedule goes like this. So October 1st, today, like a uh, few of you are done with your uh, examination followed by, I hope you have done with the analysis. Okay. And uh, October 2nd, the main task, this is main task. This is your minor task one, minor task two, or you can consider it as a revision task. Okay. So I want you to cover the developmental disturbances of oral and para oral structures. You have a video available on the website. So I want you to cover the smart video followed by solve the MCQs. Source of MCQs can be your dental pulse or dentist or you have a number of MCQs available on the website. Right. So followed by I want you to cover the benign and malignant tumors of the oral cavity. Video is available. Again, smart video is available. So most of these topics are linked to a smart video. Smart video is something like in a storytelling. Okay. So the mentors were sitting in front of you. Okay, they take 30 to 40 minutes to tell all the important uh, conditions and the questions that are being asked, most common areas, clinical photographs, radiographical photographs directly from the textbook. So it's something like a storytelling. You have to sit, understand it, that's all. Okay, it's almost like a reading of a synopsis. Okay, so once you're done with a smart video, I want you to jump into MCQ, solve as many MCQs as possible, right? So this is going to be your main major task or the main task where you need to should not spend more than five to six hours. It may be easy. Sometimes it may be difficult, but make sure your alarm should work on and it should not be more than five to six hours. For example, an intern is able to read only eight hours per day. So this minor my major task should be four hours. And these three should be four hours. So it, it will be like one and a half hour. It will be like one and a half hour. Okay. And it will be like one hour. This is how you need to split. 50% of the time has to be given to the main task. So in the minor task, okay, task one, I want you to start dental histology. Two hours. This topic can be done in two hours. You have a smart video, simple smart video. All the important points are discussed in the smart video. I don't want you to waste time on writing the notes. Understand the videos. Videos will be available on the website till you enter the examination hall whenever you want you can revise if you want you can write a running row scribbling notes but don't write heavy notes as don't write uh, heavy heavy notes as using glitters using using markers because we don't have time because the number of days left over are just 99 so minor task two i want you to jump into deciduous dentition dental anatomy you have a smart video followed by mcqs in dental pulse or dentist any of the book and followed by evening, we'll have an activity and followed by you can solve MCQs that are available on the website. Same scheduling. So last two hours of the day. Make sure this can be any time. Wherever you feel a bit slow, like probably repeaters who are reading in the offline centers or at the homes, they may feel a bit dizzy. Probably after having a meal, after having a dinner or late night. So I want you to do repeats. Okay, with a proper explanation. Okay, don't mug up the answers because we have time. So I want you to go through the question, go through the answer and read some associated synopsis to try to understand. For example, if a question is on a classification, I want everyone to be perfect with the classification, not with the question. I'm least bothered about the question. So you should be perfect with the topic and you should be perfect with the content over the question. So jumping into October 3rd. So this is a Sunday. So use your Sunday properly. So October 3rd is going to be Monday. So here you are going to cover salivary gland disorders. Maybe a bit a bit time taking topic. Okay. 
so followed by spread of oral infection a small topic physical chemical injuries of the oral cavity regressive alterations of the teeth very small topics these are already covered in other subjects also healing of oral wounds is a common topic for your oral surgery general surgery healing this is a healing process is a small topic oral aspects of metabolic diseases allergic and immunological diseases of the oral cavity all these are very very minor topics they are not going to take more than 10 or 15 minutes to finish these topics okay so everything was properly organized on the website so please try to finish smart videos available on the website followed by try to solve as many mcqs from the sources available that can be a dental pulse or that can be a dentist or that can be the website mcqs so coming to the minor task of dental histology you are going to cover enamel very easy salivary glands because you are doing salivary disorders here let's do salivary glands finish it so followed by uh, the permanent dentition now you are going to start from da 2 hours and you are going to continue inict and neat 2021 repeats the source of inict neat 21 repeats is your website or you have your dental pulse dental pulse also is having all the mcqs okay uh, you can do either from dental pulse or you can do either from the website so i'm going to october 4th okay i want you to continue the da the same topic da the same topic will be continued coming to the diseases of bone blood <laughs> leukemias and everything okay probably you can try to link out your general medicine topics also some topics here dentin and alveolar bone will be covered in dental histology dentin and alveolar bone continuation same diseases of bone blood i have given so much of time so i want you to cover some general medicine and physiology part if you're already done you can do the revision if not if time permits i want you to jump into uh, some general medicine and physiology part of the blood blood is a very important topic so you can do some blood so da now you are going to do calcification eruption you have a sm you have a very well organized smart video plus followed by mcqs so 2021 you are going to do every day two hours so sixth i want you to finish so these are the festival days so please try to i mean i am not asking you to quit the festivals but this is the peak time how well you use how well you organized now it's going to create a very good impact in the upcoming days whether the exam is postponed or not the days how you use the these 10 days or these 15 days how properly you organized so the this the leftover 80 days is going to be organized well so diseases of skin nerve muscle red and white lesions and here you are going to cover pulp and cementum d d dental histology and da you are going to cover occlusion so seventh you are going to cover bacterial viral fungal infections so pdl and tmj from dh and da you are going to cover tmj and uh, dentaceous structures so now you are going to start 2020 repeats 2020 inict and neat repeats so followed by 5 to 6 hours for forensic well organized smart videos are available so periodontal ligament and tmj you can continue revision of da you can start doing revision of dadh you can do it maxillary sinus or uh, these are the dh topics right so you can do all syndromes syndromes are available in your pp books and the videos of the syndromes are available in your pedo folder pedo smart videos folder so then i want you to revise do the repeats okay uh, and the pp books for all these subjects for the next 3 or 4 days and i want you to give your examination on 12th right so checklist checklist to be done must checklist to be done is one is if you are a pro live student so pro live questions has to be done or if you are an offline student offline question papers has to be done so this is must 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 followed by rest all students whether it is a plan a plan pro offline sx sx pro whatever it is whatever plans you are it is mandatory that you have to do all the repeats from 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 22 
will be doing don't worry i'll make sure we'll be doing together 22 we'll be doing together so don't break your heads for 22 so all these questions are available on your dental pulse as well as on the website dental pulse as well as on the website right so these are the must okay right followed by daily whatsapp activity so whatsapp activity has to be done whatsapp activity has to be done okay and followed by i want you to mark the questions marked questions when a solving dental pulse or any sort of book while you are solving the first for the first time you are going to mark some questions so make sure you try to do the marked questions and try to focus on the content what you have marked while watching the smart video okay of course if you are not able to do this sir time is running short we are not able to do this marked stuff you are telling to mark and do it not possible now then you can directly solve pp books pp books were written by toppers okay which was basically written by me which was uh, refined updated by many many toppers okay so this is almost like a notes of a topper okay so they have marked underlined everything and now finally they have converted a notes so if you are not able to mark and if you are worried that you have not marked or you have not underlined then you can directly jump into pp books pp books will have contents moving on the memory based contents okay so tables classifications very important diagrams frequently asked questions frequently asked numericals frequently asked scientist names frequently asked memory based questions were stored there so whenever you are not in a position to decide what to be done for this particular subject in a limited time you can close open pp books and you can start solving so this is a checklist that you have to do at any cost okay so for example uh, if you have fall under a service service category so there are many states who are having this service quota you have tamil nadu having service quota you have telangana is having service quota orissa is having service quota right so you have kolkata having service quota okay so there are many many states providing service quota seats exclusively okay means you have to stand best among the service so if you are a service category candidate who is already working in a government sector and who is preparing for your entrance examination hoping that your dream to do mds has to be done in the next two years or next year okay so i want you to stick on to the checklist i know that you are busy with your personal life you may have one or two kids okay you have to run behind uh, the patients manage the hospital manage the home there are many things that you are being doing i, I know i know personally i was talking to most of you i was in touch with most of you i know that your children are preparing for a uc neat and you are preparing for a pg neat this sounds very great and you are you are a sort of inspiration for most of us okay let it be a service or anything okay you are you are an inspiration for most of us because you have lots of responsibilities and you have the courage to study and give a tough competition to the present generation and there are many many such souls such such people who has really made it possible okay who are re really made it possible i'm hats off to all those people okay right so i want service people i want you to stick to the checklist mostly to the checklist like if you are a pro life student stick to the questions of pro life revise them repeatedly because you need to top the service category not to top the country it's okay even if you top the country that's a depth that's a next level of preparation uh, it's really appreciated but at least you need to be top among your service list similarly a category category like if you have a category okay at least i want you to top the category list okay so for the for those category of people i want you to stick on to the checklists okay if you are a pro life stick on to the checklist if you are an offline student st uh, i mean stick to the stick to the checklist that is i want you to give more importance to the content that is being discussed in the offline content that is being discussed in the pro life or i want you to give more importance to the repeats okay probably from like uh, 2017 2018 2019 2020 or your dental pulse will be having uh, mcqs 
in bracket they are going to tell which year it is being given i want you to be perfect with all the mcqs and a little bit of associated synopsis at least from 2012 2012 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so if from 2000 uh, 12 to 2020 it's going to be 10 years so every year you're going to have some 30 odd questions from these subjects so it's it turns to 300 to 400 questions which is more than sufficient for you to uh, grab that top one to uh, in your service quota okay right so i mean like i hope you can manage the time if you are not able to manage the time make sure the priority should go accordingly so the first priority for pro-life student is going to be pro-life papers offline students is going to be offline papers the second checklist is going to be the repeats from 2017 to 2021 the third checklist is going to be your whatsapp activity fourth checklist is marked questions and marked notes if you are not able to do this directly jump into pp books this is what you need to focus on this is what you need to give importance and the most important quality that is required for every one of you is trust first of all you have to trust yourself 100 percent secondly you have to trust your mentor right so the bond between the mentor and the aspirant is very 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 important the bond is very important for you to be successful yeah so you need to trust yourself first of all you need to trust your friends friends around you who are supporting you you need to trust your family who is supporting you okay so there were many inspiring parents inspiring uh, friends co-aspirants brothers sisters husbands nowadays we see husbands even even i can see wives who are supporting their husband to do mds okay so taking a lap of five years six years ten years fifteen years <laughs> there were students who has who has more than 18 20 years also after finishing videos after 20 years they have restarted the preparation it sounds very energetic very good to hear all these stories okay and it is very inspiring so this is what the energy we always gain from you and this is how we redistribute the energy so it's it's something like an exchange of energy the positive energy the positive vibes uh, which i strongly believe it's going to work out well okay so let's work hard and do some magics okay right so so i i'm always available for you okay I'm on my helpline on my lifeline number so you can contact me at any time okay so right so this is all uh, so as of now, I'm signing off Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Kong.